Hi, this is Peter. I wanted to create a short video here to show you how to set up everything for Eva for those people who might have been having some problems and also just to go through some of the things like the FAQ so you get everything configured correctly before you start sort of struggling with it a little bit. One of the things you're probably going to do is end up getting an SVOX voice. So after you've downloaded that and installed it uh, from the market, you want to make sure that you go into the application and if you get in here initially it's probably going to ask you um, to complete the installation and so you would come to this screen make sure that you follow the steps for completing the installation and when you get here if it's completed you press the play button Hi, I'm Grace. Type any text in this window to hear it spoken. If you hear that then that means the voice is installed correctly and it's working. So the next thing you want to do is you can go to your Android settings, take this shortcut button here, and this brings you straight into the uh, text-to-speech settings. And you'll see here you can choose between your engines. By default, Pico would be your engine, and you want to switch that over to SVOX. And once you've done that, you can come here and select the default language. Um, I've got both voices for English and um, sort of British and United States English on here so you'd select the one that you want initially although you can configure this inside of EVA and then down here you make sure that SVOX Classic is checked so you've got that working and finally come here and press this This is an example of speech synthesis in English with SVOX Classic and if you hear that voice as opposed to the default Pico voice then that same voice would work correctly inside of EVA okay so now we're going to go through the setup process and because it takes about three minutes I'll fast forward the video through um, parts of it there just to get to where the setup is complete hello and welcome my name is Eva here we go remember to wait until the speak bubble turns green what is your first name? Peter. Tap on the item you would like for your first name or select the last. Hi Peter, and what is your last name? If you prefer just say, skip, as I don't really need it right now. Please wait for the bubble to turn green. Skip. Well it's nice to meet you Peter. Anytime you want to get my attention, just shake your device or tap the side of it firmly three times against your other hand. Okay, the first thing I want to show you here is how to adjust your settings. And generally you can say that by saying display my settings or show my settings. Or you can um, long press the menu button on your phone or you can click it four times. Your settings are displayed. Tap on any setting to toggle through the available options. Okay, so here you can do some things. You can uh, choose what Eva's voice is going to be. You can choose uh, the language that you're speaking or the dialect that you're speaking. So if you had a different accent, you can toggle through those just by tapping on it. You can turn off Eva's picture. You can move the speak bubble um, position to the bottom. You can turn on uh, shake and sensitivity. There's a bunch of different things you can do. Um, let's see what else we have here. You can adjust your text messages to speak them or whatever you want to do there. Um, you can make your widget background be transparent and I'll show you the widget in a second. And then you've got your car mode features there. So that little icon up the top there, that's to uh, activate car mode. You can hide that if you want because you can also activate car mode just by asking for it. Um, you can just say car and uh, that will bring up car mode or you can press the uh, menu button three times and that will bring up car mode so if, if I uh, let's just step out of here for a second I'll show you how to add the widget here and you just long press on your screen there choose Android widgets come to Eva and there's added the widget there so now you can uh, 
just tap on Eva's face there when you want to go back into Eva. Okay, if you want to put the phone in car mode, you could just say car or you can tap your menu button three times or touch that icon up there on the top of the screen. I just press the menu button three times and so in car mode, um, you have different functions. Obviously to close car mode there, you just press the car mode button again. The resume navigation is for if you are navigating with Google navigation you just press that and it will just toggle you back to navigation you have a wake phrase that you can turn on so you can say hey Eva and she'll come to the front and then um, a button there to keep the screen on all the time so it doesn't fade off I recommend highly only using that when you're hooked up to your charger and then you have custom buttons at the bottom there that you can assign to any command that Eva can do so for example you you may want to assign a button that says you know text my wife I'm nearly home and so instead of having to send a text message when you're on the road you can basically just press that button and it will send that text or you, it, you might want it to say text my wife I'm stuck in traffic and then you can slide this uh, to the left here and you'll have uh, your music functions there so you can play your music and then again calls over here you can assign three different favorites and you have access to your recent calls and just a re the regular dialer and also to look up your contacts and then you have a screen of six more custom buttons that you can assign there to do anything that you want. So basically any voice command that you can do in Eva you can assign to one of those buttons. And it's pretty easy to do. I'll show you for example. Please say the new actual command or phrase you want me to assign to this button. For example, what's the weather? Say cancel if you don't want to assign a new command. What's the weather? Please choose the best match for the command for this button or select. Please say the name you want on this button. Please use one or two words at most to allow it to fit. Weather. Please choose the best match for the name of this button or select. I have checked this command and it looks okay but you will need to test it by pressing the button. Okay, so in a few seconds it will go back to car mode automatically and we'll be able to try that button. Okay, so you see it's assigned there. Now we can just press it. The current conditions for Clinton at 2.38 p.m. are sunny with a temperature of 43 degrees and humidity of 39%. Wind is from the south-southeast at 7. And when you're in car mode and you do anything that takes you out of car mode, uh, you'll automatically go back into car mode and depending what it is that you've done, it'll time out differently. Normally it's just a short time out of about 5 seconds. In the case of something like this with the weather, it, it takes about 30 seconds and it'll go back to car mode. So it's always going to fall back to car mode um, unless you specifically exit from car mode. Okay, so we're back in car mode there and if we wanted to exit out of there, let's see, maybe we want to play some music. Okay, so that's handy for while you're on the road and you want to exit out of car mode, you just press that button and you're back to normal there. Okay, so let's see, uh, maybe you wanted to uh, set up a location-based reminder. So let's say maybe we want to create a, lo a location which is uh, the Golden Gate Bridge. Yes, Peter. Remember a new place. Please tell me the place name or address you would like me to remember as one of your locations. I will locate it on a map and you can select the exact position. San Francisco. San Francisco. Say the next part of the location or say select. Again, cancel or done. Done. Loading map of San Francisco. Please position the push pin where you want the location to be marked and then press the back button. Now, anytime that Eva asks you to say the word done, you can also say OK or finished. And that basically has the same effect because some, sometimes it doesn't work very well saying the word done. The voice recognition misinterprets it. Okay, so I've got my little push pin there right on the start of the Golden Gate Bridge. 
So I'd hit the back button now. Why would you like to call this location? This will be the name that I will listen for when you ask me to create reminders and such based on it. The Golden Gate Bridge. Please choose the best match for this location. Your new location is now ready to use. If you have another name that you also want to reference this location by, please just repeat this procedure. Okay, you, you might have noticed there that you can actually tap Eva's picture as the same as tapping the speak bubble there. So I've got my new location set up as the Golden Gate Bridge, and um, maybe now I want to create a uh, reminder to remind me every time I go past there. And with the new feature now, you can actually specify the direction that you're heading. So maybe I just want to have a reminder to do something when I'm crossing it heading north. So that would be considered a, a go past reminder because I'm actually moving past it. Um, and I can actually set it up to happen every time I go past it. So like every day I cross that bridge, I can have it um, basically play the reminder for me or I can have it do an action like, you know, disable my Bluetooth or something like that. So let's see, I'll uh, see if I can set up a reminder for that. Yes, Peter. Every time I go by the Golden Gate Bridge heading north, remind me to... I'm sorry, but I don't understand the action you want me to do when you go past the Golden Gate Bridge. Every time I go by the Golden Gate Bridge heading north, remind me to pay the toll. Please choose the best match for your reminder. Your reminder to pay the toll when you go past the Golden Gate Bridge heading north has been set. Okay, so just as she says, every time I go past that point that I've set on the map there, heading north, it's going to, she's going to remind me I need to pay the toll. I don't think I would get away with that anyway. Okay, maybe now I want to see if I can find a, a sushi restaurant in San Francisco. Yes, Peter. Look for sushi in San Francisco. found the following listings for sushi in San Francisco. Okay, so now you can scroll through these uh, listings, tap on the one that you like, and um, get the details for that, depending on where, whether it, it the, where the data has come from, uh, you'll have details or you won't, and then you can look at the map, or you can navigate to, or you can actually share that uh, location with somebody else, in which case it will send them a text message to say, here's where you're headed. And it'll have a link in that map um, for that place. Okay, maybe you want to see what the weather's like in San Francisco now. Yes, Peter. What's the forecast for San Francisco? Forecast for San Francisco for Wednesday is sunny with a low of 43 and a high of 51. Winds should be from the south southeast at 6. Thursday is cloudy with a low of 47 and a high of 52. Winds should be from the south at 16. Okay, but we really want the extended forecast. Yes, Peter. What's the extended forecast for San Francisco? Forecast for San Francisco for Wednesday is sunny with a low of 43 and a high of 51. Winds should be from the south southeast at 6. Thursday is cloudy with a low of 47 and a high of 50. And you see, I can tap on any of the texts that Eva is speaking and I can get her to stop anytime I want, so I don't have to wait for her to complete there. So there's a lot more functions there for you to discover, and if you wanted to look at um, some of the previous videos that I have done that are on my channel, those will uh, show a lot more of what has been done in the past and there's going to be a lot more to come in the future so I hope you enjoy what I have now and what's coming. Thanks.